Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today is day two of my swipe series. I had some paints left over from the last pour but I wanted to make this one a little different so I've gotten out uh, the Extreme Sheens by Deco Art. So I'm looking forward to using some of these. So I used these two in my last pour with the silver and the iridescent white and I've added these three which is the antique bronze, the bronze and the 24 karat gold. Uh, this one's champagne gold and that one's pewter. So I haven't used these ones before so I'm excited. I've got a long canvas out here so I'm thinking of putting uh, I've got the my base colors here which is a titanium white and the Payne's Grey because I had a little bit of the Payne's Grey left and I've made up some more white and I'm going to put a strip of Payne's Grey through the middle lengthwise and white either side and then I want to get some movement with my swipes going this way rather than this way uh, yeah so let's get started I'm going to pour the Payne's Grey down first I think. I want to see if I can get that as a fairly even stripe. So I might just add a little bit more this end. I don't really want it too thick. So I might just move a bit this way. This is mainly to um, drag a bit of the dark colour through. I don't know if it's going to work the way I think it is, but I can only try. Let's get some white down. keep a little bit of white. I suspect I've used more of the Payne's Grey than I wanted to. I need to keep a little bit of the white. I want some biggish looking ones through the middle or maybe here and here and I've got to decide I've got so many colors I don't want to use all the colors on every swipe let's go with these colors Maybe these three over here. Okay, so I've got my oxide, Amsterdam oxide black that I'm going to use as my swipe mix. Okay, 
Okay. So far so good. I'm going to use a smaller palette knife, I think. I'm still going to be doing something through there, I think. Look at the size of these. That's crazy. Where's my white swipe mix? Just feeling like taking a bit of the the uh, paints grey. Nice, that's cool, but I think I want to try Let's try the black the little one Add a little something through here. Corners. 
Let's get ready to tilt these gold spots through here. are massive. missed all the corners <laughs> so I need to touch them up I do think I need to tilt this way a little bit but let me just get the corners first Let's just tilt it this way a little bit, not a lot. You would have liked to have taken that bit off a bit, but no, that's fine. Yeah, interesting. It's got lots of nice lacing. Some little dots of Payne's grey and plenty of white. All different colour metallics going through there. I mean, I, I even just love this lacing here. This gold part, it's massive. Really gives it something different. Hmm. Nice. I actually quite like it that way. I'll bring you in for a wet look. Okay, here is the wet result. Now I'll just take you on this angle and you might be able to see the shine from that gold. I know that the light's annoying there but just wanted to show you the shine um well let's start here i love that i love this patterning through here this is really unusual and i like the fine lacing there I probably could have bought a bit of that Payne's Grey out, but I'm not going to touch it because I touched it over here and we've got some colour breaking through that I'm not keen on. So I'm probably going to paint over that little spot in white because it should be simple enough to do. Um, we've got some spots breaking through here as well and I have no idea why. That's just a little bit of interest up there. And we've got this massive lacing through here. And I'm guessing that's got something to do with the 24 karat gold. I'm not sure. I've got some little cells in there and some white cells over here. Tiny ones. Yeah. Pretty cool. I love the two dark spots. I think that uh, sets it off actually. I know they're not the main piece, but I think it wouldn't look the same without it. Hmm. So I will bring you back when it's dry. Okay, here is the dry result. And I quite like these colors. 
through here. The gold, the 24 karat gold, I was so excited to use it. I just, I don't like this bit. I am, um, I can actually feel a lip there as well, that's weird. I mean, it's got a lot of shine, that's for sure. But I don't like the way it reacted in the swipe. It, um, it's just expanded and it looks very flat. You don't really, the lacing, it's not that noticeable. But the rest of this piece I really like. And I actually think I like it best this way. I think it's probably because it partially shifts this down. So. Yeah. But some of the patterns in here, like this, this through here and over here, it looks really wild like uh like animal patterns or something yeah so that's it for this one um i hope you enjoyed that i hope you learned something i'm i think i've learned something with the gold but i still need to experiment with it a bit more uh, i have some of these colors left so i will be using some more in the next painting but we'll make it a little bit different um, so until then I'll see you all in the next one bye